First time since the pandemic began, the Socks and Undy 5K Rundy brought together runners from across the triangle for an in person race. Now, the staggered start allowed racers to stay socially distanced on the one dimensional course, which was designed to keep everyone safe. The event not only allowed runners to break a sweat, but as CBS 17's Holden Krawicki shows us, it set some local kids up for success. <laughs> It was a challenge. When Erica Davidson crossed the finish line, she accomplished a goal more than a year in the making. We started a run club with my friends, and our goal was to do a 5K. The pandemic put the brakes on that goal temporarily, but after a year of waiting, the Sox and Undy 5K Rundy allowed runners like Davidson to put their best foot forward. What's special about it is this is the first 5K live 5K since the shutdown last March. We are finally getting to somewhat normal after a pandemic year. Um, so it's been good to not have to do it virtually and to actually experience with other people. With every step, runners from across the triangle are raising money for the local nonprofit, Note in the Pocket. And we're raising money to clothe Wake County children with dignity and love. According to Executive Director Dallas Bonavita, that money will allow Note in the Pocket to clothe more than 700 Raleigh area students during a time of extreme need. Good to know that um, I'm participating in something that is going to hopefully help somebody else. While she understands running isn't for everyone, Bonavita says there are still ways you can help out. We always need volunteers. We'd love you to come talk to us, call us, or, or send us an email, and let's talk about ways that you'd like to participate to help and get involved. For more information on how you can get involved, visit our website, CBS17.com.